Welcome learner to our continuing lessons in human resource management. Today we are looking at uh, motivation theories and uh, practice of human resource management uh, where we are looking at uh, classical theories of motivation and uh, we are looking at Douglas McGregor uh, theory X and uh, theory Y. Now this uh, Doug, uh, Douglas McGregor is known for proposing uh, uh, theory X and theory Y which are uh, two assumptions about uh, human nature and the theory X and theory Y on which, which are uh, theory X and theory Y on how managers perceived and handled employee motivation. The theory X and the theory Y were developed by McGregor uh, in the 1960s. And uh, these theories have extensively been uh, used to inform decisions in management and in human resource management. <clears throat> so what Douglas McGregor did, when it comes to theory X, theory X assumptions are the negative sides of uh, the assumptions uh, where some managers had the, the assumptions about workers. And uh, theory Y would be the, is the positive side, according to McGregor, that uh, there are some managers who made assumptions that, uh, for example, in theory X, that employees are inherently lazy. And these employees may dislike work. These employees must be coerced to work. So when managers have that kind of uh, a view about workers, then those supervisors or managers will handle employees with coercion or a dictatorial management style. But on the other side, where an organization, uh, a, a supervisor or manager, views employees with assumptions of theory Y, then the theory Y is the opposite of uh, uh, theory X. And in theory Y, it is presumed that uh, individuals will uh, even like to do work so long as the uh, environment is created to have them to work effectively. And uh, what Douglas McGregor proposed is that managers should emphasize on the theory Y assumptions to be able to create environments that help uh, employees achieve their objectives. So we can have a look at um, a theory Y and a theory X, and then we see what were some of the assumptions that were made under theory X and theory Y. So here you have uh, a theory X assumptions. Uh, theory X assumptions. Okay. Now, when it comes to theory X assumptions, as you have said, Lana, this is the positive side. Okay. Uh, this is uh, theory Y, uh, theory, uh, theory X, theory X, uh, theory X is the negative uh, assumptions. Uh, that uh, uh, supervisors uh, or managers uh, may have regarding uh, workers. Uh, regarding workers. And what are some of these uh, assumptions? What are some of these uh, assumptions of theory? Why? We have just indicated that uh, in terms of a working environment, uh, a manager may argue that uh, the average worker, the average worker, uh, the average worker, uh, average worker is inherently lazy. So this kind of a manager uh, makes an assumption that a worker is inherently lazy. For example, uh, two, dislikes work, uh, dislikes work, uh, three, cannot uh, take responsibility, responsibility, uh, four, uh, should be coerced, uh, should be coerced, uh, coerced. Uh, should be coerced, should be coerced. So that means uh, forced, should be coerced or forced 
to work should be coerced or forced to work uh, five uh, will avoid a work at all uh, at all uh, uh, options so if an employee has an option to avoid work according to these assumptions a manager assumes that this employee will avoid work at, at all options at all uh, at all options or maybe opportunity uh, opportunity so these are the kind of assumptions and uh, these are not all the assumptions these are some of the assumptions that uh, uh, were proposed by Douglas McGregor that uh, when you look at a work environment there are some managers and these managers may have this kind of assumptions about uh, workers and when they have this kind of assumptions about workers then these kind of managers are likely to adopt what is called a dictatorial uh, approach to managing this particular uh, employees uh, within the working environment. Then, on the other hand, there is now the theory, uh, theory X assumptions. Uh, theory, X, uh, theory, theory, theory Y, theory Y assumptions. Uh, theory Y assumptions. Now, the theory Y assumptions, uh, this is, the, this was the negative. So, theory Y, uh, theory Y uh, is the positive uh, positive side and when it comes to uh, the positive side according to Douglas McGregor uh, employees the average employee uh, the average employee uh, employee uh, will work willingly uh, willingly the average employee will work willingly so what is uh, important is for the management to create uh, a conducive environment so according to mcgregor uh, according to mcgregor's uh, theory when it comes to the theory why assumptions what are some of these uh, assumptions one uh, workers workers can take uh, initiative uh, initiative uh, for their work uh, for their work uh, two uh, workers uh, are responsible responsible so long as so long as the right uh, at the right uh, conditions are created the right conditions are created uh, uh, workers uh, will seek uh, will seek uh, uh, will seek extra will will take initiative initiative and seek extra uh, responsibilities, extra responsibilities, uh, extra. Resp so what we are saying, uh, Lana, if you look at uh, the theory Y assumptions according to McGregor, McGregor is arguing that uh, this is the progressive side and uh, workers can be uh, what is called uh, highly ambitious. Uh, highly ambitious uh, uh, creativity uh, creativity uh, is uh, inherent uh, among the workforce and so on so these are the issues on the theory why assumptions if managers make an assumption that the average worker will take initiative for their work uh, the workers will be responsible so long as the right conditions are created. Workers will take initiative and seek extra responsibilities. Workers are highly ambitious. Uh, workers are willing to be involved in, uh, uh, in uh, decision making. And uh, when it comes to performance, these employees are able to provide output. 
So what McGregor provided is that Douglas McGregor, uh, as a note learner, McGregor indicated that it is the responsibility responsibility of management uh, management to create uh, to create the right work environment the work right work environment for employees for employees to operate in to operate in so according to Douglas McGregor looking at theory uh, theory X and theory Y uh, McGregor uh, Douglas uh, Douglas recommended recommended uh, theory Y uh, theory Y uh, for progressive uh, progressive managers so for motivation purposes, uh, McGregor Douglas provided that managers who are progressive should be able to create a, a conducive environment. And once they create a conducive environment, the assumptions on which they should base uh, decisions on regarding their workers could be uh, the theory Y assumptions and encourage employees to be able to perform. So those are the issues uh, that uh, surround uh, the theory X, uh, the theory X, and the theory Y assumptions in relation to a work environment. So we can go through this learner uh, slowly again. We have looked at uh, Douglas McGregor theory X and theory Y, and we have indicated that uh, in the 1960s, uh, Douglas McGregor is known for proposing two assumptions about uh, human nature, and these two opposing assumptions were theory X and theory Y. And according to Douglas McGregor, these uh, were the set of uh, assumptions that managers perceived their, uh, their subordinates or their work environments and the kind of uh, the managerial decisions they took were influenced by these assumptions. Then we have uh, looked at uh, Theory X assumptions and indicated that uh, the Theory X assumptions were the negative assumptions that managers could make regarding their uh, employees and that would then influence the kind of management styles they adopted. And we have seen that the theory X assumptions may include, one, average worker is inherently lazy. Then two, an average worker dislikes work. Uh, three, uh, an average worker cannot take responsibility for their actions within the work environment. And then uh, four, uh, an average worker needs to be coerced in order to, to be able to work. And the coercion here we have said is uh, uh, forced. And then number five, an average worker will avoid work at all options or at any opportunity. So this then will make uh, managers who are managing employees with this kind of a perspective to adopt uh, a dictatorial or autocratic, uh, autocratic management style. So when workers uh, are handled with that kind of a style, sometimes it may create uh, challenges. So that is uh, as far as the theory X assumptions are concerned. And when it comes to theory Y assumptions, this is the positive side. And uh, the average worker, according to the managers who perceive workers this way, uh, one, workers can take initiative for their work. Two, workers are responsible so long as the right conditions are created for them. Then three, workers will take initiative and seek extra responsibilities. Uh, four, workers, average workers uh, are highly ambitious. And five, creativity uh, can be inherent within workers or it can be cultivated. So those are the theory why assumptions, a set of which some managers may perceive their subordinates and now be able to sometimes adopt what is called a democratic a leadership, a leadership style or management style to be able to get work done. And according to McGregor Douglas, uh, it is the responsibility of management to create the right environment 
uh, for employees to operate to operate in and Douglas uh, McGregor highly recommended uh, managers to increasingly adopt uh, the theory why approach to be able to create a democratic uh, management style to be able to achieve both uh, employee and organizational objectives and motivate workers to their level based in terms of uh, they are based in terms of performance. So, Lana, before we finish, I want to leave you with an assignment. And your assignment for the lesson today uh, is describe, describe, uh, describe Douglas, Douglas McGregor's, Douglas McGregor's uh, theory why. Uh, theory Y, th Theory X, and Theory Y, uh, Theory Y as it is used in management, as it is used in management. So, Lana, this is your assignment. Describe Douglas McGregor's Theory X and Theory Y as it is used in management. So we have come to the end of our lesson today where we were looking at uh, Douglas McGregor, Theory X and Theory Y and uh, we have looked at the Theory X assumptions and uh, Theory Y assumptions and also your assignment. So thank you very much. We hope to, to meet in the next lesson.